Hey, how's it going? Um, I wasn't expecting to make another video today, but uh, I just, I didn't feel like carbon new stuff. <laughs> so, uh, so let's just go ahead and, and uh, get on with it, shall we? Okay. So I'm looking at this in here with our little lighter. <laughs> Jesus. Um, And we're going to need to start reducing some of this, but I'm going to have to, to kind of take into consideration the uh, the back the back end of this and the angle of it. So I know I can see you can probably see that this is pretty thick. And so what I think I want to do, let's see if I can draw it here. Yeah, this thing's already getting dim. Cut that shit out. Um, I kind of want to take it down to like here. Ooh. Sorry. So, drew line like right here is kind of where I want to take it down, and it doesn't look like a lot, but it it kind of is from that angle. Let's see, and then I'll let this side kind of dictate this side. Sorry about that. Might have just removed a little bit too much there. That was my concern. Nope, I don't think so. Let's see how it looks to you guys. Yeah, it doesn't look too bad from there. Yeah, when you look at it from this angle, it isn't too bad either. All right, good. There's... I mean, recoverable, I thought, but still not great. So let's look at it from this angle here. We're looking at this, and I see a couple areas that, like this area right here is just a little bit too wide compared to the other one. And then this area here is a little bit too wide. But I got some strange-ish marks here going on. I don't think you can see those. You probably can't. So I turn the video down. Yeah, I suppose that's just going to have to be okay. Uh, so we'll go ahead and deal with some of these. But we got some strange marks that kind of look like there might have been some splitting going on. I thought it was a little bit further up here. So I'll we'll take a look down here and see if we were into the same phenomenon. And then... Um, need to make a decision kind of in a sense do I want to accentuate this curve or flatten this top just a little bit and by flatten I mean we're not, we're talking like a, like a millimeter or two we're not talking super serious flattening but it will have effects though it will have effects like right here for example that is the point that is the point of the crux of the wand so if it needs flattened right here it's going to Pull this down and we may actually have to adjust this hand a little bit here to make sure that it does that but it already looks like it kind of dips down here and then goes over is that just me could just be me could just not even matter but if that is the case then i need to then i need to actually take from this end to visually make it look like it's a little bit more here we're talking like just minute things we're not we're not talking about anything like major so let's look at it like this Okay, so we did do some some uh, some smoothings over here, as we saw, and um, to flatten that out a little bit, that means that this side is a little bit gross. So let's just go ahead and mark where we're gonna where the last one was, right about there. Screw it, let's do it. Okay. All right, now I don't want to risk this point right here, so I have to kind of hook this onto the table. So let me lower this down a little bit while I'm, I'm working. Or all you were going to see is like just this stuff getting spit out here. Oh, yeah, good job, eh? Yeah, no, I see a good job. Ooh, got some resistance going on here. Mm. 
Just gonna flip it out some. Right, not bad. Come on now, work with here. I already know this has to happen, so let's just go ahead and do it. Careful where you grab those. Cut you open in the heartbeat. All right, here we go. Got enough. All right, so this end aside, which is kind of hard to do. Um, probably gonna have to reduce that top zone. It now looks like it's got a little bit of a hump. That's fine. It's part of the process. We knew we were going to have to do it anyhow. We talked about it last video. Um, it's not part of the, of the shaping of the time, but it certainly is necessary now. So let's take a look. I think even you can see this dips down right here and then comes up. So I have to dress that uh, just a little bit. So we just got some marks here on the top. And then we'll adjust the sides. I already know like this is going to have to come down because it's a hard edge that I can see. Um... I can already see from here, even though I'm not looking at it that way. Yep, that, that has to come in. Not much. It's going to be smaller. Smaller works here, but you can see that it kind of wings this way a little bit too much now. So this is something where we're probably going to have to reduce this side of the handle quite a bit. And to make the rest of it look okay, we'll leave this part because that's our intent, right? Uh, but then we'll have to shape the handle to meet the rest of the wand. So what I'm probably going to do is actually get this side correct. Uh, there's still some shaping needs to go on here. Not much. Just some. And then um, I'll need to go on over here to reduce this whole area more. To blend the wand in. And then we'll, then we'll worry about this other side. Right. Because we need to get one side, you know, right... We don't expect there to be issues in here, and it could just come to bite us in the ass, that's fine. But um, we need to shape one side of this, and then we'll match the other one to do it, because this end is not going to be... If you look at this, this end is not going to be even regardless. That doesn't mean that I I can't make a, a more even part of the wand here and just blend it in and, let, and keep this end so I can keep my original edge. Now, I probably will have to sand this, because uh, washing it's not going to be enough. Is, uh, th that, that red dirt's probably soaked into there. Uh, so we'll have to sand it just a little bit. Maybe some filing even. But for the most part, we're going to keep it original. And uh, kind of go about it that way. Right? And I, I think that um, the directions we're going to have to take with this handle are probably going to have to honestly go in like this. And then come out to right about here. And then we'll flare this in. Partially because this is this is too damn thick, right? I mean, it's it's thicker than my damn chisel, you know. And we're gripping chisels uh, more strongly than we expect to grip wands uh, for out of necessity, right? So go. Uh, there are some still some things over here, but let's worry about this this end first because I can always I can always finish this up based on the rest of the wand. Uh, at this point, it's done enough that I should be able to do that. So, screw it, let's do it. Okay. Don't want to take too much off this top here. 
just kind of trying to flatten it out some. We're not, look, we're not really looking for a lot of removal. We're just kind of fine tuning what's there. If you hear a shriek, I did something wrong. All right, I think it's okay. Okay. Okay, so we got some splitting going on there. Yep. All right, so we're going to have to work that this way. Probably from now on. Let's get a little bit more aggressive with the chisel then. And since, we, that's, since we know this, this is the only way we can come from, we might as well just go ahead and be a little more aggressive. Still see this is a little... To, I'm gonna have to touch that up there anyhow. Alright, we're starting to take off some of the top here. Let me see. There we go. Shazam. Interesting color of purple going on. Purple color going on there. Huh. Didn't expect that. I mean, it doesn't really change anything, but interesting. I grabbed a piece of driftwood earlier. Oh, well, not driftwood, deadfall earlier today. The Malibu Valley. And uh, unfortunately, it had been so termite ridden. They were literally bugs stuck to it. I'm like, all right, well, you're not going to work. Happens all the time. I haven't had one. Well, I mostly work with driftwood, so that's kind of like 50-50 if you're going to find one. But deadfall is a different story because they'll, they'll burrow into these branches and then it takes them so long, I guess, to these grubs and stuff to mature that they, uh, they fall out with the thing. And then half the time I end up finding them in my wood. Partially why I let the wood sit for a bit before I uh, do anything with it. That and termites. So it sits here on some shelves. So I can look and make sure there are no termites in it. Because you can't, you, you pretty much can't buy wood here that isn't treated for, for termites and things like that. Um, you, you pretty much can't do it. So if you need wood like that, you have to get it from the wild. Uh, but then, of course, you have to look to see if there's any termites and stuff in it. And just because there are no signs of termites doesn't mean there are no signs of grubs. Because sometimes these grubs will burrow in there and then the tree kind of heals itself over. And then I'll find them when I'm working. And it usually is at the point of a chisel. And, uh, you know, negotiations can't kind of take place at that point. I mean, communication is broken down, and uh, I have to use superior force to unintentionally alter that grub for uh, the rest of its life, we'll say. So, now that we've talked about the finer points of existence, uh, let's just go ahead and look at, oh, there we go. Come on now, baby. Oof, makes me nervous. You know it does. I know somebody's waiting for a spurt. Somebody's watching us waiting for a spurt. I know they are. I don't blame you. It's just... And I have done that. Did I tell a story? Did I tell a story? Uh, so, so bike chains. I used to, we used to, we were poor as shit. And so, so I used to have to try to fix the bike chain anytime it broke, right? And uh, given that I was curious sort of person and would take my bike apart and then put it back together and everybody else's bikes apart and put it back together, generally speaking, if they, if they needed help anyways. Um, you know, I, 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 I spent a lot of time with uh, working with stuff, but I didn't always have the tools. And so when you're trying to get slip that little link off and you don't have a tool to do it, 
and you decide to use a screwdriver uh, that's a little bit too large for the job, and you put a whole bunch of pressure on it, and it goes zip and slides up your forearm like that, and you think you're going to die. Um, you know, that can be a bad, that can be a traumatic time for, for like a 10 year old kid. You know what I mean? That's only seen the movies because, you know, there was no YouTube there. You couldn't just Google shit. Google wasn't even a fart in somebody's ass. Um, I mean, I'm sorry, a fart in somebody's head. <laughs> uh, but anyway, so uh, yeah, oh yeah, zoop. So that's what I think of. So I didn't leave a scar. Man, I was so surprised. I thought I thought for sure I was gonna bleed to death, and so instead of like uh, so instead of like running in and saying, "Oh my God, I'm gonna fucking die," because I wouldn't have said that bomb anyhow, right? Um, now it's a good little Mormon kid. Um, I literally just sat there and said, "Do I really want to tell myself, or do I just want to see where this goes?" <laughs> so, uh, you know, I turned out okay. All right, what time is it? my time 16 and hey, we got some time screw it let's do it all right so, i mean we're at least gonna have some time to uh this needs to come down holy balls uh it, it's not quite as obvious when you look at it but once you start removing some of this this other stuff the 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 difference kind of makes it a little apparent that this has to come down but it's gonna be great it's gonna be a little more gradual uh it doesn't quite look like a lighter so much anymore now it's more like a I guess uh, uh, a sick aardvark. I don't know. Or, an, you know, some anteater. I don't know if they're the only anteaters. And I'm not trying to discriminate against all anteaters or those of lesser stature. I just wish they would kind of come here and eat some of the damn ants. That's what I'm saying. So. All right. Yeah, a little bit from here. This side is actually pretty straight. I know I'm, I'm putting it that way because it's literally that pretty straight. Most of the work is actually going to have to go on this other side here because it kind of goes, kind of starts to look like a Coke bottle on this side. And uh, no, that was not an endorsement. And uh, so we know we're going to need to take some of this down. So let's just go ahead and start coloring. If this were blood, I'd call it finger painting. <laughs> All right. And... That's kind of like our gradual line here. So we'll just kind of leave it with that. What time is it? Uh, it's about 18 minutes. We're going in this here. And we'll pick up the next. Oh, this this got to go down. This is unsat, unsatisfactory. It's kind of like it got a V-shape right here. Uh, which, is, uh, which isn't bad if you're carving stuff. Because it, it means you can always just shave that off. And you've got something that's relatively in the same shape. So it's actually not a bad idea. I've done it before. On purpose, though. Um, some here, some here. All right. You know what the next video is going to be. Don't know when. But I'll have time tomorrow. I just, I'm just not sure if I'm going to do it tonight. So, there we go. Have a good evening.